this energy another thing um i was getting this energy oh i really want to share this with you because when i get these little insights i feel they're important and sometimes i lack discipline and don't share with you because i'm distracted otherwise and i'm thinking what what the heck are you talking about even so i just end up not sharing so this is also why i decided to record this message maybe it means something for someone the other day i got some energy about chromosomes i was leave, like diving into chromosomes it was fun but i honestly don't remember it because i didn't allow myself to go into the vision or the feeling of it but there's something about chromosomes the x chromosome oh i had figured out something about it the chromosomes are maybe i did write it down something about the chromosomes i figured out the chromosomes are something the x chromosomes you know there's something special i don't even know what i was thinking about if it is if it was about the way they were formed i think it was about their formation while outside oh child i think i need to come outside more all right let's look at what that was about the cro the x chromosome that i wrote down the other day something about okay i don't know i didn't even put i didn't oh my goodness but there's something about the chromosome and i realized that the chromosome is something like it is oh shizzle i'm sorry man but um something about opening a third eye also all right so i was i wrote down the chromosome and i was getting a, a, an energy about god i saw it a blue robot so i'm going to share this also but maybe for another message but i wanted to get the what the energy of chromosomes is the x1 it has a center because I, when I drew the X chromosome, I literally started with a center, which probably is the nucleus. I'm not certain. It looks like a mitochondria that we see in the cells. So I started with a circle and then I ended up like doing four little petals on the circle. So it looks like a flower I was drawing. But I realized I got an X. So I wrote chromosomes beside it, right? And then I was going into this state where it was it, like it is telling me something about the form <coughs> about the formation of the chromosomes and I knew it was important and relevant maybe especially to genome I'm hearing genome maybe especially to what we're experiencing now in this time with the like what what are we even doing in in, in on earth this is what probably makes sense maybe it makes sense just please stay alive and stay well and stay awake and stay up <sighs> and I love you so I guess we're going to be hearing more about the chromosomes so I uh, maybe in another video we'll talk about the children and God right something about children and God and you know that children's hearts are pure so that is how they connect to God purely all right and Another thing about children and the humans and this and this getting rid of you know children kind of situation that we've been hearing about the other day. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to say it that way. But because something about the children, you know that that cartoon kids next door. <laughs> you know what? Because we adults are discussing these things as if the children aren't listening, as if the children aren't paying attention. You know what I mean? As if we think the children are stupid. We're discussing, oh my God, I don't want to have them. Or, yes, I want to have them. And the children, the, ch the children are standing right here listening to your conversations. And like, the adults are against us. <laughs> or at least that may be a perception that they will hold. And here comes the the creation of kids next door 
You know what I mean? Because the children may be feeling like, whoa, I love life because the children aren't having as much, as much stress as adults are. Children born and like, whoa, life is fun. Oh my God, I can run and I can play. I can suck on a breast. I want to be alive. I love life. And God is like, yes, live my child. Become fruitful. And then they hear adults talking secretly about, I'm not saying we shouldn't do what we want to do, but it's just the dis the widespread of the discussion that and the inconsideration of how it is going to fall upon a child's ear that wants to live and is the coming generation. So I feel like the children, the children, the children, the children. They may want to take the power of their life out of adults' hands because the way how they hear adults talking about them as if, yo, like we, I, I have the power and as if the child doesn't matter. I'm like, the child is like, I'm standing right here. Hello, I'm right here. <laughs> you guys have to be mindful of that. Like, be mindful of the children. They're smart. Four, five, three, two, one, them they're listening they're getting your energy and they're th they too are creators and remember that children create easily because they don't have stress like us like adults right so children manifest easy so they're going to manifest the next world and if they're manifesting a world in which they're hearing about where adults are talking inconsiderately in their presence of they're in, in what they're perceiving at their age as that is you know as their life some children may easily be able to turn on their parents because they feel like so, something 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 like that so that's the message we have for today so just be mindful and be considerate like you were once a child put yourself in that position like a group of you getting together and saying yo you, did you hear what the adults they are talking about <laughs> oh my god it's not funny but it is kind of funny all right so much love take it easy out there